a little fast because I want to you know conclude this in our in our short video because pentagon is really simple so we're gonna do pentagon in this video and now I'm gonna show you click on new and then click on model please pause the video if you think it is too fast now let's enter the command first command is un and make sure it is to millimeters and after that click on ok next enter limits the lower left corner is going to be 0 comma 0 and the upper right comma corner is going to be 297 comma 210 next click z enter z command and enter a now make sure the y axis is a little to the left zoom in a bit and now you have your plane and on this plane now let's take a line segment enter l command and click on a point where you want to start your line from and then make sure the line is straight if not click on f8 on your keyboard and then it will be straight next i want to take a line segment of 80 so i took a and enter 80 and enter now we have a line segment which is of 80 now what we're going to do is enter c which is circle command and there's a midpoint on this yeah so click on the midpoint and make sure you take a circle touching both the end points of the circle and now take trim command because we don't need the down per down portion of the circle and we're going to click on this part and now it's gone now click X escape and escape the command after every command you should click on escape so that you know you can use a new command or else it will be mixed up and it won't do you any good now uh, let's take array but before we take array let's take divide command div and let's divide the semicircle to get a pentagon you have to divide the semicircle into five different segments so now it's divided but we can see it to see the points it is divided into let's take pda by command and enter and now we have a little dialog box in here click on this and click three the size is going to be three and click on ok now we have our points in here wow now we're gonna take ray command because we have our points right and then click on the midpoint and then click on the node again this these points are called nodes so click on each node after taking the ray command from the midpoint you're gonna click on each and every node and we have a race now click on escape we have our figure like this right now. Now let's name it. Click a bunch of times, escape, click escape a bunch of times, and enter dd command, and click anywhere on the plane, and then the height, take height as 2.5. In the, you know, command box, take height as 2.5, enter, and rotation angle as zero, always, and enter. Now we have this little line, right? Now we're gonna name our figure A, O, and B. Let's take a line segment of AB and the center as O. Now let's take these points as 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's name these. Now we have it, right? and then click somewhere anywhere on the plane and then click escape now we have our this thing so now let's enter c command again circle command and let's take a circle from point two how much the radius we're gonna take is 40 because the if the circle you know if the this thing this line we took it as 80 right and the half of 80 is 40 so we're gonna take 40 as our circle radius and enter now we took it right now let's for taking a point enter PO 
and click on the intersection of the point. You can see the X right here. And then delete the circle. Next, do the same thing again. Enter C command, circle command, and from 3, take a circle of radius 40 again and enter. Now take PO command, point command, and click on the intersection. Now let's delete the circle again. Now we have our pentagon. Can you see it? This is our pentagon. Let's join it so it will be visible for us. Let's take line command and from here let's join the points. Let's join each and every nodes like this and click escape. Now we have a pentagon here. Now let's darken it so it will be it will stand out from all the other lines. Click on LWD and enter and since it's off let's on it. On and enter. Now let's click on the lines. As you can see it is selecting the whole line so escape. We will take PL command which is polyline command and make sure and attach these line from 2 to 0.0 click on it from O to B we're gonna click on it and then escape it will actually part the lines you know this this is this and that is not the one from this so now we're gonna select the pentagon now and as you can see it is selecting only the pentagon and not the extended lines now click on by layer and put 0.30 mm and now you can see right you can put any how much you ever want to and now you can see you have your pentagon out in here standing out from the other lines and clearly visible now let's take dimension for this this is the last step of our figure from O uh, until B at the end B and now we're going to take it until here but can you see our dimensions you cannot read so for that we'll go to annotations and second standard and click on manage dimension styles click on modify and uh, click on text height as 2.5 and click on the offset and line as 2 and next we'll go to symbols and arrows because we have to see the arrow store right like of the dimensions the arrow size will be 2 and the pre-size will be only 3 and click on ok and we'll click on close so voila you have it you know you can see the dimensions very much clearly out in here so that's it we have our pentagon ready simple and fast and very clear as well thank you for watching see you all and again next video